My pork and chorizo sausage rolls put a Spanish twist on a classic snack. They're packed with flavour and perfect for picnics. Now I've got in a pan some onions and some garlic sweating with a little bit of olive oil. So they've been going for about 10 to 15 minutes and they're nice and soft. What makes these sausage rolls really special is they've got the added chorizo, the smoked paprika and chipotle paste. Makes them really spicy and gives them a nice kick. So I'm going to add the chorizo into the pan with the onions. It should start to bubble away and all the juices will merge into the onions. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of smoked paprika and then a teaspoon and a half of chipotle paste. This is quite strong, so use it quite sparingly. So all the lovely red juices from the chorizo have come out and you can see that the filling is ready to cool down before we add it to the sausage meat. So I'm going to take it off the heat and leave it to cool down before I blend it. So the next step with the sausage meat filling is to put the chorizo and the onion mix into the food processor and then just pulse it until you get a coarse mixture. So now you can see that the chorizo cubes have been diced into much more manageable pieces. So I'm going to take this out and add it into a small bowl. And now I've got a chunk of sausage meat that I'm going to add into the spicy chorizo mix and just use my hands to mix it all together till it's all one uniform colour. So now it's all combined, you've got this great colour and you can feel the small chunks of the chorizo. Now I'm going to wash my hands and put this into the fridge. So now I'm going to start making my rough puff pastry. You could of course buy ready-made puff pastry from a shop if you want to be quick, but this is a really simple method. I'm going to start by adding cubes of cold butter into plain flour. You want your butter to be really cold so that it remains in chunks through the folding process. And then I'm going to toss these in the flour, just to make sure they're all nice and evenly coated. I've got a small jug of water and I'm going to be adding a few drops of lemon juice into the water. Adding lemon juice to pastry helps stop the gluten from developing, which helps it stay nice and flaky. And then I'm going to add the water into the pastry mix a little bit at a time until it forms a rough dough. You might not have to use all the water, you're looking for a dough that holds together but isn't too wet. So the dough's clumped together into one ball now, so I'm going to tip it out onto my work surface and shape it into a rectangle. This will make it really easy to roll out later. And then wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge to chill for 20 minutes. So I've got my pastry out of the fridge and now it's ready to start rolling. So I'm going to roll it out into a large rectangle. So make sure you press down quite hard on the chunks of butter because you want them to stay in their place. You should still see big chunks of butter because this is what will help create the layers. I'll be repeating the rolling and folding three times to get the right amount of layers through the pastry. And then when you've got a large rectangle like this, we're going to fold it into three. So start by folding the bottom third up into the middle and then fold the top third down like you're folding a letter. So now this is going to be wrapped in cling film and go back into the fridge for 20 minutes. So I've got the pastry out of the fridge, I'm ready to repeat the roll and fold process. I'm going to turn the pastry 90 degrees so that the folded edge is facing me. And then roll it out into a rectangle and fold it into three again like a letter. And then wrap it up and go back in the fridge and we'll do this twice more. So now my pastry is ready, it's had all of its rolls and folds so all the layers will be nicely formed. We can start making the sausage rolls. So I'm going to roll out my pastry into a large rectangle. I'm going to trim off the edges with a knife. If you trim off all the edges, you can get a much better puff. And then use the knife to divide the dough into eight. Because I'm making eight large rolls, but you could make lots more small ones. So now my pastry is ready, I'm going to shape my filling. So using floured hands, I'm going to turn the sausage meat out onto my work surface. And then I'm going to portion this into eight pieces. So I'm going to shape each piece into a sausage shape that's the same length as the short end of your pastry. And then I've got a beaten egg here. I'm going to brush the egg wash over the inside of each piece of pastry. This helps stop the sausage from moving around in the oven. And then take each piece of sausage meat and place it on the end. And now roll them up from the short edge so the pastry covers the whole sausage. I'm going to place these onto a lined baking tray with the sealed edge at the bottom. So now I'm going to wash my hands and finish the tops. I'm going to brush them all with an egg wash to give them a lovely golden shine. And then I'm using my sharp knife to diagonally score across the top of each sausage roll. Now the finishing touch is just a sprinkling of smoked paprika, which gives a lovely colour and some great flavour. And then a few poppy seeds for extra crunch. 
and then these go into the oven at 200 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. So there we are, comforting, delicious and full of subtle savoury flavours. My pork and chorizo sausage rolls are the perfect picnic snack.